Hi everybody. Okay, okay, okay. I got a text message from the Skatavarket saying that my ID card is ready. Look, look. I can't understand most of these words yet, but I put them through Google Translate and yeah, this means that my ID card is ready. Um, bring my request form and for the opening times, go to the website. Oh my God. If you've been watching the vlogs from the beginning, you understand why I'm freaking out. <laughs> this has been like a whole journey making this happen. If you have not been watching from the beginning, get to it. Watch them. I don't know. Okay, today I'm getting my ID card. Okay, so I've got what I need, which is really just the receipt. I'm not sure what to call it. They really call it a receipt here, but it basically it has like the picture that I took at the tax place for it and my information. Basically, it was going to be on the card. So I, I need to bring that piece of paper to get my card. We learned the hard way with Justin. Now I know for myself that I need to bring that. Otherwise, they will not give it to me. So let's go. Okay, so I'm obviously not gonna show you the card, but oh my god, I got I got it. I got it, it's done. Pack it up, it's over. Uh, this um does unlock the new challenge of trying to get a bank account, which was very complicated for Justin. So we'll see how it goes for me. But I do not have to carry my passport everywhere. When I go to Copenhagen, I will. Um, just because the borders are a little weird still. Now, this wasn't even what I was going to film today. That was just a fun surprise. The plan was to film meeting Justin after he's done with work at Bauhaus or something to get paint. We're going to choose paint colors because we're going to do some accent wall stuff at our new place, which we get the keys to um, on the first. What we want to paint before we get our belongings on the 10th. And in between that, we're doing something really cool. So it kind of eats into the time to do all this stuff. So long story short, today we're choosing paint colors. So, yay! So I love this app, uh, the Skona Trafiken app, which is the public transit app for the Skona region, which is the region that we're in because I can go and choose in the app where I want to go and it'll show me all the options color coded for the different kinds of buses or the metro and I can go and click like oh if I do this one there's a map there's a forecast of how crowded it's going to be this kind of stuff the functionality I would have to go into Google Maps to usually see this for SEPTA in Philadelphia. So it's really cool that it's just a part of the app that has my tickets. Like I just bought a ticket, so I have an unused ticket. To activate it, I'll go here to activate it, and it's good for 24 hours. And after that, I will just have the QR code visible, scan that on the bus at the entrance, and then that's it. Like this is so much better than any transit system I've seen for US transit apps. Why is this so difficult to be a thing in the States? I don't understand. This is amazing. There's like little messages about disruptions in your um, routes, any kind of news. It's like, this is incredible. That bus was crowded. This looks like U-Haul, like yeah. sign, like Waffle House and U-Haul together. Perfect quality. What's the difference between top quality and perfect quality? Whatever. How long is this one? 25 meters, 50 meters. 
That's too brown, right? That's black pepper. Are you ready to see why I hate this? Yeah. Oh wait, I kind of like this one. Okay, so there's Darjeeling. It's like a super dark, like, dark gray. Mm -hmm. It feels a bit purple. Like there's some purple undertones. Mm -hmm. This one's called Rock and Roll. This rock is their black. Roll. Oh yeah. Like, I hate it. But I think this is what we want, right? We want a rock and roll. And this is the one we probably want like a decent amount of. Okay, and then the other one, we want like a blush. This one's nice. That's a little intense though. I feel like this is gonna be better. Yeah, like look, at, it looks white next to that, but I think when we actually have it in a room, it'll make a difference. Yeah. And what was the other one? We were thinking about either a dark blue or a yellow. Norskin. I kind of like that. Jeans? Do you want one that's jeans? Jeans. I don't know, I'm like starting to like not be sure if I want like such a blue. The best Lurena for the ten. Yup. Wow, this system sucks. Processa. Why do I feel like this one would be good? But I just don't know what it it's is. This one. Oh, <gasps> that one is good. Oh, there's Ballerina. Oh, people suck. What yeah, they just didn't put it back right. But yeah, it's there. Oh, I like Puderosa better. And then Ballerina. No, I like that one. It's like dusty. Right? I mean, like, an, is that too much? Like, a this kind of a dark blue arch? No, the Puder Rosa is good. Mm -hmm. And Rock and Roll is fine. This dark blue. I don't know, I think I want to go for more of a muted. Like an ocean? Or like... I was thinking even, like... Oh, like a light? Hubris. Hubris? Hubris, oh. hubris yes. It must be hubris. Yeah, I like looking at it on camera. Is it? Is that like not enough personality though? Do we want to do a yellow? Like I could actually see this being nice behind it. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, maybe we should do yellow. I mean, imagine having like a brighter color. It would be nice to look at, right? Because we're in Sweden and it gets dark and apparently daylight savings time is happening this weekend and it's going to get dark at like 3.30. Oh, fun. So yeah, maybe that. <laughs> I do like it. And honestly, I'm kind of a sucker for like a good name. Oh my god, there's corn. Do you just want corn? That's corn. Yeah. Hmm. I think these are good. Yeah, I think so. Stick. We are taking the train back because they will not let us on a bus with. Probably not. Probably not. That's pretty tall. Hi, it's the next day. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday we came home and we were, I think, both just really tired. So I was like, oh, well, we'll just finish the vlog the next day. And then now it's the next day and we're both also really tired. Bauhaus. Just like Home Depot. <laughs> like even the layout was similar where like the paints in the back of the store are kind of in the middle, the woods off to the one side. And then between then and, oh, the one thing that was weird is that all of like, the the bathroom stuff was like up at the front in front of the wood. It was so weird. I didn't even notice. We walked past it. They even had a jacuzzi. It was weird. Also, I learned that jacuzzi is the last name of the inventor of the jacuzzi and he's an Italian man. Hmm. Oh, so then I'm probably not saying it right. Anyways. The lady that helped us with getting the paint I thought was super nice. 
Like she helped us with the gloss terminology. Yeah, it makes more sense here than in the US, I think. It was like numbers from less to more glossy, mm -hmm. as opposed to just names of stuff. I like how you're trying to explain it when I'm the person who actually knows everything about that. Mm -hmm. I'm sounding smart when I'm not yeah. eggshell. Satin. I literally to taught you those things yesterday. Yep. And then today we actually ended up going to Ikea because we wanted to try and get some wintry Christmas stuff and for our new place. And we didn't get anything. Nope. They were out of almost all the things we wanted. Mm -hmm. But we did get some lights that you found. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. So it's lights that'll attach to one of the beds we have. In the US, they're like, I think they're $100 each, or maybe even over $100. Uh -huh. Basically, we got it for like 60 bucks. I love that for me. So look forward to seeing those in our new place, amongst everything else you'll see in our new place. Yeah. <laughs> we also got a monkey tree puzzle plant. I'm so happy. A monkey tree puzzle plant was the first thing first plant we got in delft when we lived in holland mm -hmm. and then we tried to replicate it in the states with a norfolk Nor island pine yeah but they're just different i don't know the monkey puzzle is more like symmetric feeling the monkey puzzle doesn't feel so much like a typical conifer tree while the norfolk island pine definitely is like it looks like one like it has the brown bark mm. and then the pine needles but this one it almost feels like a i don't know it's kind of alien and i love that and it has just a lot of sentimental value i think for us me because i grew very attached to the one we had in holland so oh looking forward to new memories with this new baby you're not going to tell them about your trauma it got pretty big i mean it is a tree we were there for a year, but it got a lot bigger than it was when we got it in that one year. And we couldn't find someone to take it, so we wanted to bring the pot with us, which I guess is probably the pot we'll put this one in. Oh my god, sick. <laughs> sick, yeah. So I had to like cut it up to put it into the trash. But that's in the past. This is now, and we have a new monkey puzzle tree that I love. Oh my god, I just want to get the keys. I can't wait. We already did everything. We have the insurance. We already paid for the first month. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I've been living in a hotel for like three months and it's not going to end yet. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a whole quarter of a year that yeah. you've lived in a hotel. I'm technically going to live in one for like four months. Well, thanks for watching everybody. What happened in this vlog? There were ladders, monkey puzzle trees, buses. Surprise text messages from Swedish government agencies. Paint. All that and more next time. Until then. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>